1994, animal rights groups deceived Oregon voters into passing a ban on effective cougar management. They did so in part by paying a poacher $9,000 for footage of illegal cougar hunts in an effort to sway voters into believing their arguments. Along with their other underhanded tactics, it worked, and for over 16 years, cougar populations have gone unmanaged. The result is that since 1994, cougar populations have more than doubled and far exceeded management goals set by state fish and wildlife biologists. Denied the use of effective management tools, cougar populations have not only exploded, but now pose a serious threat to human safety, livestock, and wildlife populations. Cougars have decimated elk and deer populations across the state, with some elk herds losing over 70% of baby calves each year to cougar predation. The cougar problem has become so bad that Oregon now pays the federal government to kill them. In tough economic times like these, we can't afford to take money out of the Oregon taxpayers' pockets. Instead of paying the federal government to kill cougars, we should allow biologists to do their job and effectively manage cougar populations by using fee-paying license holders under very specific and controlled conditions. The Oregon Senate is now considering legislation that would allow the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to create a pilot project that allows any county to petition to join the program. Managing cougar populations while at the same time saving taxpayer dollars would be a local decision. Unfortunately, animal rights groups are once again trying to deceive Oregonians by asking the Senate to ignore the cougar problem. If you agree that it's time to put cougar management back into the hands of wildlife professionals, call the following senators and ask them to support House Bill 2337. Senator Peter Courtney. Senator Lee Byer. Senator Lori Manez Anderson. Senator Rod Monroe. Senator Floyd Brzezanski. Senator Alan Bates.